Well, Shamai, you lovely lot, how are you all? I'm back tonight with, actually, only my second card making video in forever. And I've created this one. And I'm going to try it now using some slightly different colours. For this one, I use Rococo Rose. Oh, what's the next one? Seaside Spray, Mint Macaron and So Saffron. And I'm going to just sort of make it slightly brighter by using Flirty Flamingo, Coastal Cabana. I love, love, love these two colours. Pay Pizzazz and a bit of Daffodil Delight. So that's my colour palette. And the stamp set I'm using is actually from the annual catalogue and is called Beautiful Friendship. And um, I haven't used it very much. But when I use it then, I, I remember how much I like it. So in my true stash bashing um, efforts, I'm going to give this one a go. And I'm also going to use an extremely old piece of paper that I've had for, for ages. And that's the back of it. Because, as I say, I had this collection a few years ago and I'm nearly at the end of it. Can you believe it? So I've got some things prepared. I'm using a pre-made and pre-scored 5 by 7 card. I'm sure it's 5 by 7 I've made my... No, no, 8. It's 6 by 8 actually. That was a big lie. A 6 by 8 card. And I've cut my piece of white ready. And the way I did this earlier on, I'm hoping it's going to work again the same this time. What I did with a pencil, because I find if I go into the edge, um, it doesn't always stamp so well. So I'm going to give myself some little pencil marks here. So I'll know where to position my piece of card the next time. That's going to be my sentiment banner across there. And I'm going to start with the big watercolour rose. And what I sort of did was roughly try to work out where my sentiment's going to go. Just so I can position things. There we are. And I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo for the rose. Just need to use more of my magnet. But because of the fact that I've also given myself position lines for my piece of cardstock, <coughs> it'll make things a little bit easier for me. Now, I like to keep a stamp pad underneath my, um, my, my door because then it just keeps it in place nicely as I'm pressing down. There we are. So it will give you like a watercolour effect, this stamp set. It's quite delicate. So what I'm going to do now is take my piece of card out and turn it. There we go. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing then. Let me just check. Yep. Yeah. There we go. So it's quite a nice one to stamp with. Also, it helps that my flirty flamingo isn't too juicy because what you tend to find with the really juicy ones with a photopolymer, they don't seem to stamp so well to start with. So then, I'm going to take that one off. I'm going to, I'm going to put a pop it on there and I'm going to put them all, give them all a good cleaner in my um, stamp and scrub. And I'm going to bring in, this one is like a little um, bit of foliage. And then I'm just going to stamp these around the edge. And I'm going to use my Coastal Cabana for this one. As I say, I love Coastal Cabana. And the good thing is about um, stamping up inks is that they all coordinate so nicely. So once again, I'm going to spin it around and stamp again. I'm just wiping off the ink off the door with my finger. I did have a tissue, but I think I must have tidied up and I've lost it. <laughs> right. Hmm. Let me get, just get a tissue a second. Just because I'm going to move this now. I want it on this side. And as you can see, it's giving me a little bit of an impression, but that's okay because that's what, exactly what I'm going to be stamping. Just, there we are. I seem to be getting ink everywhere tonight. You can tell I'm out of my um, card making practice at the moment. I've been doing lots of scrapbooking lately. 
they seem to be all for one or all for the other I think as well is because of the things you have out on your desk then switch my piece of card around put it back into that corner <coughs> there we go as I say I'm just gonna put them all on this sheet here then I'm going to use the smaller rose impression then just up here and once again I'm stamping that in flirty flamingo I'm going to put this back under my door <laughs> ready made platform I mean you could easily do this one without um, a stamping platform but I must say it did save time because um, you know that you're lining it up pretty much the same by leaving it in the same place the problem is with the bigger ink pads with smaller stamps you end up or is it just me getting ink on the the rest of the door so i that's why i try to keep something with it so i can give it a good clean each time then i'm going to put it on this side and pick it back up again I've got a little bit of ink up in that top corner, but that's okay. I can just trim that down slightly. And it's always the darker ink I managed to splodge somewhere where it shouldn't be. It's never a, a nice neutral colour that I could easily hide. Also, you could be creative then in your placement of gems to hide it. So there we go. So there's my roses done. Then there's two um, little leaves in here. I'm going to put one here and then I'm going to put one on this side so I can ink them both up together and pick them both up at the same time. I need to get the other, should get the other magnet out really to keep it in place. I'm just going to close that one and now I'm going to use papers as the leaves. There we are. And just swap them around. As you can see, it's a really pretty colour palette. Be really delicate. There we are. And bring them in again. There we go. Once again, just give them a, a quick rub there. And then there's another flower in there and I'm going to match them oh, it'd help if I put the right way around I'm gonna stamp this one in yellow and what I'm gonna to try to do is not get ink down the bottom onto the stem because obviously they haven't got yellow stems so I'm gonna try and gently do it then with my piece of tissue wipe it off the stems of the flower there we are and I'm going to put some more um, little blue foliage pieces in there and do exactly the same thing again as you can see it's a really really simple card to do the hardest thing is trying to keep your inky fingers off your card there we are. Then in these sections here then, in this set, you've also got these lovely little foliage bits, which are so small they're going to be difficult to see on screen. But I'm going to put them, put one there, and then there's another one here, and I'm going to put it on this side, like that, and pick those two up. And they are going to be stamped, once again, in Coastal Cabana. There we go. So, at the moment, celebration is still on. So this is the time to do your spending with, with Stamping Up. I must be honest, I'm trying to spend far less lately. And, you know, even my husband noticed. He said the other day that I seemed 
to be buying less. So brownie points for me. There we go, bringing this back in again. How pretty is that? I just love the colours. I think I might just add another set of the leaves. And I think I'll add them just up here. But look how quickly this has come together. As you, <laughs> I think I've said this before, I don't know really how to speed it up um, and do voiceovers. So this is re always real time with me. There we go. And one the other side now. As I say, you can see I have got some little bits I think has come off my finger. So there'll be some very careful placement of gems going on in a second. I'm going to take that off because that's actually all finished. And then I'm going to bring this in. Mainly to check that my card is straight more than anything else. Because I find um, these ones here, because of the fact that you can't see through them, they're quite difficult to line up straight. So I'm just going to bring this in, which actually says Mother's Day. As you can see, I'm making a couple of Mother's Day cards. Because, obviously, in, in the UK, Mother's Day is, I think, the 22nd. Then, out of the well-written set, I'm just going to put the stamp artist to one side. Out of the well-written set, I have cut Happy. And I've actually cut it twice. And I've put some of the... Uh, Adhesive, and after my glasses on for this part, <laughs> um, some of the adhesive back in on the card before I cut it, rather than trying to get glue on it. I know stamping up and stop selling these sheets, but you can get them on Amazon. I also had some in Hobbycraft, like big A4 sheets in Hobbycraft, which are really handy. I'm just going to check that this is dry. I'm just going to blot it. Yeah. And I'm going to back both of these with a very thin flirty flamingo border. I'm just going to trim this one down slightly because I've got a little bit of coastal cabana at the top. The other bit I can hide. Right. Here we go. I know I've said it before, I love my ATG gun. It is so quick and easy to use. I'm not very good on those little tape runners somehow. I never seem to get them to work properly. And I think sometimes they're quite expensive um, for the refills. I tend to buy the compatible refills off eBay then because the 3M ones are really expensive. So there's that part then. Then... I'm going to do my little sentiment strip. So here we go. And I love my, this is just a staples trimmer. I do like a rotary blade trimmer. I, I just feel it, I can line things up easier on it. I like my, um, my other, like my stamping up trimmer then forgetting pieces of paper and things like that but this is my favorite then i'm going to bring in this very old piece of paper i just love this color this is mint macaron so just for it to have a little bit of a a border around it i've got to stop hoarding dsp and I know, I think it's Kylie, I think it's Petucci, you say her name. Petucci? She, she's all about chopping your paper up and using it. And I think she's absolutely spot on. So there's my card there. I'm going to stick this piece down. But as I say, this has come together really quickly because this is going to be less than 
20 minutes. I know I had cut the card ready, but that was all. Sometimes it takes me longer to decide what colours to use than actually to make the card. And that little sentiment strip is going across the centre there. And as you can see, it looks like the flowers are just sort of coming out either side. It's probably a bit difficult. That's better. Because um, I'm filming this in the evening. And I've got fluorescent lights in my craft room. So sometimes the true colour doesn't show up. There we go. I'm just going to stick this little happy on there now. And to finish off, I've got some little rhinestones. At this point, I always want to sing just a rhinestone cowboy. I tend to sing for every occasion. It's a bit of a standing joke in school that they'll, the children will say something and I'll know a song related to that word and I burst into song. My little ones think it's fab. The older ones just roll their eyes at me. There we go. I'm just finishing off with a couple of little gems. And then that card is done. So this would be a really simple... I've, I've done it for Mother's Day card. It'd be a simple Easter card, birthday card, get well soon. All kinds of occasions. So, thank you so much for joining me. I'm hoping to do some more card making videos. Because I have missed card making. And... Um, just too many hobbies not enough time <laughs> so thank you for joining me i shall see you all soon i vow